Hey, it's Ben and Bookish Bear, and it is June, so happy Pride Month to everybody. I'm going to do a quick wrap up video for May. It's going to be short because, again, May was a month where I didn't do a lot of reading of books, and instead, I read a bunch of comics and bought a bunch of comics. So, I'm going to do a separate comic video, and this is going to be my May wrap up video for reading books. So, uh, as usual, starting with what I'm currently reading, which is I'm trying to just get through this pretty quickly, uh, Illmatic by Matthew Gastier. Gastier. It's a 33 and a third. It's just a kind of book about Nas's Illmatic, which is a pretty great album. If you don't know the album, you should definitely check it out and read it or listen to it. Uh, Nas is one of my favorite rappers. And the book is really good so far. I'm about halfway through, a little over halfway through. So I'll probably finish it today and then start on something else. I'm not sure what I'm going to finish or start next. But yeah, that's what I'm currently reading. The only book that I read and finished in May was this one, which is Yes, Yes, Y'all. Uh, so this is the oral history of the first decade of rap. It's really interesting. A lot of the stuff is stuff that as someone who has read and, and researched the history of rap and is interested in that, kind of knew this stuff already, definitely learned a lot of stuff as well. But oral histories are always really interesting to me because you get that dynamic and the conflict of like, especially in this book, because there's so much debate about who did what first and all that stuff as far as rap is concerned. So... It's really interesting to hear one person say, oh, no, so-and-so did this, or I did this, and another person say, no, I did this first, and he stole it from me. So it was really interesting if you're into rap at all. This is a great a great history lesson, um, and it's really interesting to hear the people talk for themselves about what was going on at the time. So definitely check this out if you're into rap at all. It's, it's really oversized. The size of the book is really annoying to read for me anyways, um, it makes for a good layout with lots of cool pictures and stuff. Like, so you can, you can have a bunch of photos and stuff, but I think I would have enjoyed reading it more if it was in a more con a smaller size that it was easier to hold and stuff. The other book that I was, was reading and just decided not to finish, um, I'm probably just not going to finish it was Less by Sean Greer, I believe was his name. I will um, add a little picture there. I just wasn't into it. It didn't really interest me. It was kind of boring. I don't, I, I don't know. I didn't want to read it, so I didn't finish it and don't plan on finishing it. So if you're enjoying it, then that's awesome, and please let me know why in the comments and stuff, because that's it's interesting to me to know what other people enjoy about stuff that I don't like. But um, maybe later I'll go back and read it. It seems like it maybe might fit better as like a light summer read. So maybe if I go on a vacation or something at some point, I will try to reread it and see how that goes. But there's other stuff that. I'm much more interested in reading, so I'm not going to go ahead and finish that. And the only book that I bought in May, this is kind of nuts, but I only bought one book in May. I don't know how that happened. It's really weird. Like I said, I've been buying a ton of comics, though, so that's basically why. But I've been wanting this, and I just added it on when I got something from Amazon or something. Um, and it's The Lifters by Dave Eggers, which is a children's book that Dave Eggers wrote, and I'm really excited to read it. I'm probably going to throw this into my summer TBR, which I'm currently working on and, and buying books for and getting ready. Like This is the stuff I want to read over the next few months. So I'll probably definitely read this during the summer because it seems it's a kid's book, so it'll probably be a little easier. It looks like there are cool, some cool illustrations. So stoked to see what... Dave Eggers has to say and do as a children's author. Um, it's pretty interesting. I'm a huge Dave Eggers fan. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that. So, But yeah, that's the only book that I got this last month. Um, this is the first time I'm looking at the book without the 
dust cover. Interesting. Okay. Um, so yeah, just this is really short and sweet because I didn't read a whole lot in May. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I mean, you shouldn't beat yourself up about it if you're just kind of not reading right now. Yeah, so happy Pride Month. I'm hopefully going to do some videos later this month about some queer books and stuff that I enjoy. Thanks for watching and uh, check out my May wrap up for comic books as well. Hope you're having a good day.